part of physics syllabus quantum mechanics and free electron theory video lectures so you are making video lectures so in the previous lectures we made on um, the basic difference between classical mechanics and quantum mechanics that what introduction to the quantum mechanics after that we discussed about matter waves so de broglie's matter waves after that we discussed about what is the wave function so what is the physical significance of the wave function so after that uncertainty principle eisenberg uncertainty principle that we discussed after that schrodinger time independent and time dependent wave equations so these two these things we discussed in the previous lectures so these are all part of curriculum in the in our syllabus in physics syllabus so now so today we are going to discuss about applications of schrodinger wave equations so what are the applications of schrodinger wave equations so before going to this topic just i want to revise what earlier what we discussed so according to de broglie every moving particle is associated with a wave that wave is called matter wave the wavelength of matter wave is given by the lambda is equal to h by t t means momentum of the particle so once the wave is define that means definitely the wave will have some factor which is always continuously varying that varying factor is described as a wave function this was given by the max born so and also we discussed about what is the physical significance of this wave function so now once the wave is is imagine then there is a wave function is we have uh, is discussed and after that we need some equation wave equation so in order to solve the uh, wave wave function values for for that we need a wave equation so like other waves so that was given by the schrodinger so schrodinger in 1927 he was given a equations there are two equations like schrodinger type independent dependent and time independent there are two equations are given so basically these equations so describes the motion of the wave and as well as wave function so okay so that means what actually this will do so we are going to discuss in this video so now one application any one application also we will discuss in this video lecture so before going to that now let us look at what is the schrodinger wave equations so first thing is schrodinger time dependent wave equation that is in previous lecture we discussed it is given like this the square sign h square square by 2m the square sign plus v sign is equal to ix cross rho sin by 2 this is the schrodinger time dependent this is time dependent wave equation so basically this equation this describes the about the wave so automatically the wave function which is always evolves with the time so time factor should be there so generalized wave equation is the schrodinger time dependent wave equation because it has a time factor so what this equation will give basically it gives the energy values of the particular particle so this equation for the moving particle so moving particle is associated with the matter wave so the equation is this one showing the equation so this gives what is the energy values of that particle of mass m which is moving at the velocity b so it is in a potential b the potential energy is b so that is what this equation so this equation basically gives the energy values of the particle now this is time independent wave equation that means if the situation the particle is moving so what are the matter wave is there it is 
which is not depends upon the time that means there is a energy values which are not depends upon the time with respect to time there is no change in the properties of the wave then for those cases we use schrodinger time independent wave equation so how it is coming basically it is coming if you this factor if there is no with respect to time there is no change in the wave function that means this factor will become zero so once you put this value is zero if it is make it with the zero then obviously what are the equation left that becomes to the showing the time independent wave equation so general wave equation is dependent so from the dependent wave equation we can derive showing the independent wave equation so this is what showing the time difference so what it gives as i mentioned it gives the energy values what are the energy values so how what is the advantage why should we measure the energy values these things will get a doubt in our mind so what so for that let us see what we know earlier so from this we can try to understand so what are the energy values why we need to study the energy values of the equation so let us see bohr's model bohr so as you know bohr's atomic theory bohr's atomic theory so he he successfully applied quantum theory for the explain the bohr's atomic theory so in this bohr's atomic theory when there is a nucleus is there electron is revolve around the nucleus as we know it revolves in a different orbits orbit okay now it is revolving in this orbit and this is another one orbital this is another one orbital etc so this orbit this orbit this orbit there is different electrons will be there so these electrons are revolving in a different orbits now what is this this orbit is represented with a n is equal to quantum number n is equal to 1 and this one n is equal to 2 and this one n is equal to 3 and this one n is equal to 4 and we know that at that time we studied in a bohr's model then each and for example electron in a orbit of quantum number n is equal to 1 it has a specific energy this is different from the electron which is in the second orbit n is equal to 2 so that means electron in which orbit is there based on that their energy values are we we are proposed or we can estimate so that energy values according to bohr he has given that energy values is minus 13.6 by n square electron coulomb this is the energy values so in first orbit n is equal to 1 then minus 13.6 electron volts and second orbit if you keep n is equal to 2 that means 13.6 by 4 electron volts like this energy values we can estimate so this is the bohr's theory so de broglie is inspired from this bohr's theory and he has given this now according to de broglie what he has given he has proposed that matter waves are that means electron it is moving so in the orbit it is like a wave shape it is like this that means the wave what the electron is moving the moving particle is always associated with the matter wave that matter wave is like this that means if you know the energy values then we can know the energy of the wave that wave that particle wave so now what is the advantage to know energy values of this thing what is the advantage so let me clear for that now if you have a something from this from a physical phenomena experimentally we can see some spectra atomic spectra so for example you don't know about the atomic spectra at least we can know that lasers so lasers we know in lasers where we can see there is a spontaneous emission will be there there is continuous emission will be there that means spontaneous emission that means where we have study that electron jumps from or comes to the higher state to the lower state then the religious energy that energy is equal into the according to planck theory something into multiple by h mu so some factor some value into h mu that is the 
So from higher energy level to lower energy level, electron comes to the lower energy level. So these things we are studying. So whenever it is coming down, that means it releases some energy. So that energy in form of photons, it gives some value and turn into HMU. So once we know the energy value of this one, this energy value is something like E2, this energy value E1. Then if you know the exact energy values of that, this we can call it as a state. What is state? So if we more appropriately, you can say it is a quantum state. Once you know the energy value of these quantum states, then if the electron is coming to the downward, then we can estimate what is the difference in energy values. From that we can understand what type of laser beam, whether it is coming like a green color, red color, what are the colors. So those things. Yeah. Because why I am saying laser, but it is what we are talking what I am talking about laser is loosely I am talking. So in a broad way, that means it is very important to understand the energy or it is important to understand the, how the process is going on as well as what are the energy values of the each states, quantum states. So for that, in order to find these things, these energy values, we should have to solve Schrodinger wave equation. Once you solve Schrodinger wave equation, it gives the energy values of that particle. So once you have energy values of the particle, what are the, the practical situations are there, those we can easily explain. So this is what basically is required for the application of Schrodinger wave equation. So once you see Schrodinger wave equation, 